No. Okay. Um, what do we have? The uh, minutes for the last meeting. Yeah. Approval of the minutes from the last meeting. I make a motion to accept the minutes from the last meeting. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, we got to wait for finances. So. Skip finance goes. I, I can tell you, I can tell you, Pete, that there was uh, for the month of November there was no deposits, no interest, no expenses. So the the balance right now is twenty three thousand one hundred nine and eighteen cents. Okay, don't say it too loud. I don't want Silva to hear it. No, I'm here uh, now. Okay, good. Uh, all the uh, phone bills, I just sent the last invoice for the phone bills today, and I'm waiting for the last, uh, usually third week of December, I'll get the last uh, permits from uh, Muller Brothers, and uh, I'll be able to reconcile the years and do a year-to-year uh, -to, -year to see how we did uh, compared to past years, and I'll get that out uh, sometime in the second week in January. Okay, I got a... Uh... Just to, for you, Tom, um, Doug Easterbell gave me the papers for his seed license he needs. Um, we haven't gone, we got to, we've got to have a special meeting on uh, how we're going to charge them this year because of the pandemic and everything else. A lot of them didn't work that much this year. I know Norman had to lay all those guys off at one point. Wow. Um, and I know uh, uh, Bobby Bloom's, his kids were taking time off and Dougie slowed right down. So this pandemic put a hurting on them. But are, are they back working now? They're back working, but not full force yet. Do you want to waive the fees for this year? Do we just waive the fees for this year? Right. It's not like we have uh, uh, we're in deficit as far as our uh, balance goes. Uh, we really haven't spent anything. We didn't do any of the parties. We didn't do any of that. The only thing we spent early in the year was uh, getting the bulks ready for the spring. But yeah. the balance is healthy. So well, if you guys want to defer and not charge anything that shouldn't really be an issue as far as finances goes as far as the shellfish commission goes tommy just a rough figure how much normally is that what do we usually make on that on which on charging them normally at the license the is a, yep each boat's a hundred dollars but we boats? haven't been collecting regularly uh, for the last couple of years. When I took over, the collection was not being done on a regular basis, and that's why we went to the new fee so we could structure it. So rather than counting bushels and counting half bushels, it would be a flat fee, and it would be easier to collect. Um, so, But we haven't collected anything because of the pandemic, and then there were issues with some of the companies that didn't like the way we structured the new fees. So that, right. there's a twofold. There's the pandemic that occurred, and then there they didn't like the new fee structure that was voted on. So if we're going to have a special meeting, we really should concentrate on both things. Well, they uh, they haven't had a meeting yet either, because I've talked to them about it. Uh, <clears throat> they haven't got together to what they think would be fair. But I figure, you know, go back and the forth. The biggest thing is... And I think is, that's is, a good idea of... Uh, this year for getting it. I mean, we're not in debt or anything, so. No, no, we're healthy. And, and and the issue becomes that because there was no way for us to reconcile what they were telling us, absent going on the boats and ca uh, counting, that's why we went with a flat fee straight. Because uh, yeah. if we ever get audited, I don't know that anybody will be able to say what we collected is what really happened. Yeah, I know. Because it's a word of honor, truthfully. Correct. So I guess for this year, we'll just let it go. We'll tell them because of the pandemic. But I think we have to do a motion before yeah, we can't motion. just do that. Yeah, yeah got to do saying, a motion. Well, 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 I'm just saying what we'll tell them if, if, yeah. we, if it you gotta passes. Hear, you got to have it in the minutes. So uh, I'll right. make a motion. I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a motion. We do not charge the shellfish 
com companies uh, their their annual fee because of uh, COVID. The for for 2020. For 2020. For seed seed questions? seed permits. Seed, seed permits. permits. Yeah, the seed permits. Question. Go ahead, Nick. <clears throat> That would pertain Bob second it. Let me second it first, so then we can go to the uh, questions part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, that would pertain to the people that, that paid this year on a list that paid this year. But if somebody comes from the outside, you're going to give them the same benefit? No. No. Our Nobody paid this that year. Come here every year. Right. Someone and and the season's in. pretty much over right now. I mean, we're talking, we're in December, so we've only got uh, three more weeks. I, I don't know that anybody would come in right now. I, I, do you know of anybody that's outstanding, Pete? No, the only people we, the only people we have, truthfully, is Mike Orvas, Doug Stabell, Tim Kramer, um, Dave Hopp, Norman Bloom, and Bobby Bloom. Those are the only ones that get permits from us, basically. And uh, you and and they're the ones that they have seed boats here. Any put any new person that comes in for for a license has to get passed by uh, Marine Police. They have to check it, make sure there's no pumps, no electric winches or anything like that, because it's all hand dredging. So. Mm -hmm. So, I think so there's really nobody out there that. other than the ones you uh, mentioned. Right. And okay, Nick, are I'm you not... okay with that? Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All abstaining? The motion's passed for this year. Okay. Um, what else? Oh. Health department. Uh, rainfall for November was 5.22 inches, compares to 1.87 a year ago. The average over the years for November was 3.54. Total rainfall for the year is 39.86. For all the last year, we had 61.14. Uh, there were no notices of uh, bypasses from the treatment plant uh, for closures. On uh, November 1st, we had a half inch uh, of rain close the half inch area. On, on November 11th, we had 1.49 inch close both the half inch and the one inch. November 22nd, over one inch again for both areas. November 26.89 inches of rain fell, closed the half inch. And November 30th, we had 1.08 inches of rain it closed both the half inch and the one inch. Um, and that's the shellfish report. Okay. Uh, Four. Old business. Yeah, Pete. Just that uh, the um, consultation forms for twenty and a half shorefront park, and the north, uh, the Noah Cold Marina dredging project have gone out. Okay. That it. Water quality. Water quality. Where is he? I'm here. Oh, okay. Uh, we just had a meeting and uh, nothing under old business. Under new business, uh, First Taxing District Water Company has had a problem with customers getting muddy water for the last three weeks. Hasn't been consistent. It's been an off and on type of an operation. And put it short and sweet, they don't know what the cause of it is, where the mud is coming from. Obviously, it's got to be coming from some pipe, but they don't know where the source is or where the problem is. Uh, number two, the Watershed Association had a meeting on um, a presentation on geographical information system. And uh, Diane, excuse me, Louise went over some of the things it could and could not do. And the fact that Norwalk uh, will be upgrading what they have to combine with what um, uh, conservation groups are putting together and they should have that available uh, as it comes in. And finally, um, we had a discussion on the possibility of creating a buffer zone as far as the, the plans that um, 
the planning that's going on within the city, and that would be both not only just on the river, but also on the coast, and seeing if we can somehow or other get that implemented uh, especially in, in areas that are flooded and areas that have uh, impermeable surfaces. And finally, Dick Harris and I went to Oyster Shell Park and we did some testing there uh, specifically for PCBs and Tom conferred, confirmed this with the test last year. And there is nothing coming out of Oyster Shell that we were able to detect. That's it in a nutshell. All right. Uh, um, want, want to go to police, Pete? Yeah, let's go to police. Um, I talked to Chris Ray today down at um, Cove. They still have at least 70 boats to pull. Uh, people are staying in the water much later than usual this year. Uh, we're still drawing a uh, an unusual amount of case numbers. Um, not crazy, but uh, this year we drew over 500 case numbers, which uh, from what Pete tells me is an all time record. Um, the other thing is, is that the work on the walk bridge is starting to commence. Uh, we haven't got any uh, firm dates when they need us out there, but um, they're definitely starting to move now. The uh, barges are in place and uh, things are moving. So other than that, it's uh, basically where we are now is where we're normally a month ago. Everything's been basically postponed a month because of the weather, um, people are keeping their boats in a little bit longer than usual, and uh, we're still, um, for this time of year, we're very we're, we're active, which we're not kind of used to. So that's the uh, that's our report. Oh, no. Mike, are the ramps closed? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Are the ramps closed? No, ramps are open. They are. Yeah. I there was, they there was an issue. The COVID. No, there, no, there no, was no. an they, issue. They've been that. open even even with the testing. They were closed for a couple of days, but then they reopened at the initial time when they started testing at uh, at uh, Vets Park because of the high volume. There was uh, an issue with the. Uh, with the ramps, but then they were opened and uh, the police that are hired for that uh, were able to get the boaters in and out. But for the first couple of uh, weekends, yes, there was an issue and that's been resolved. Uh, I worked it today and the line never got past the inner gate. Uh, so it never even impacted the launching ramps. Oh, good. So it's slowing down, Tom? It, uh, two things. There's now a new testing site up at Brian McMahon that's much faster. They're doing double lines. Uh, there's also a new one going up at NCTC, and they did 340 cars today at Vets Park. Uh, they've gone from an average of eight to nine minutes a car to less than four minutes, so they've improved how uh, quickly they're pushing cars through. So the line is no longer coming out of uh, Vets Park and onto CV Avenue or the bridge. Uh, they're moving faster, doing just as many cars, but at a shorter span. Uh, so it's not impacting any of the ramps or the parking lot on the right-hand side. What's the best time to go down it, Tom? Uh, don't go in the morning because people are going there uh, at 5 o'clock in the morning. Anytime between 3.15 and 3.45. Okay. Nick, I was there today at three o'clock. I was back on the road by three thirty-five, three forty-five. Yeah, the best one is Brian McMahon. They've got double lines. They they move people in right in and right out. There's hardly any waiting. Fifteen minutes, you're in and out. Okay, good to know. Oh, okay. Yeah, All as right. far as as far as the ramps go, Tommy's uh, 
hundred percent spot on. There was a very small issue with someone quoting um, state statute about the availability uh, availability of ramps, but um, it, it it was addressed very quickly. Uh, Tommy pretty much covered everything, so everything's good down at uh, Vets Park. Okay. All right. You know what the water temperature is? Cold. <laughs> Mikey, you don't have the water temp. Cold. That you're saying cold. Do you want the Do you want the water temp for today? Jimmy said it was still in the fifties. Uh, if it's in the fifties, it's in the low fifties. Yeah, low fifties. Hey, Dick Harris said it was fifty. I, I mean, I. I it's what? 56. Yeah, I'm going to check that because that's not what I got. All right, let me check and I'm going to I'm going to get back to you on that right away. All right. That's not what I'm... Um, wastewater treatment, we don't have anyone. According to the website that says uh, water temperature in all Connecticut, uh, December 3rd, 52.3 uh, degrees. Yeah, that's yeah. I thought it was low 50s, if anything. So I, I'm, I'm where Tommy is. Yeah, that's uh, what uh, the, the, the internet is saying. Okay, we don't have any other yeah. reports, do we? Wastewater isn't here, Har harbor management. Harbor management, yes. Are they here? Uh, yep, Jeff's yep. here. Well, <clears throat> the, I guess the main thing that the commission discussed at its last meeting was the risk assessment that the DOT provided for the con concerning the continued operation of the two passenger boats near near the uh, near the bridges, and both the commission and the harbor master felt that. Uh, it's an unacceptable risk, risk to public safety to continue to operate those boats in the construction zone when the bridge work is ongoing and, uh, what, uh, and, and it's reiterate the previous recommendation that they need to look for an alternative site. So there's two, two letters in progress that would go to DEP uh, with, with, uh, with those findings. Well, okay. I, you know, the other thing, though, is I still think there's an, uh, an OSHA rule for uh, for um, distance when cranes are working that you can't have mm -hmm. people around when cranes are working. Well, well, the other thing, Pete, too, is, is the turbidity analysis by Professor Hart is still ongoing. And uh, we had asked for the, the, the records of the bridge openings last year. So we can see if the, if the spikes in turbidity from the data might be caused by a barge going through when the, when the bridge is open. And yeah. we, so we, we didn't get that directly from DOT, but, the, but those records are at the, as an appendix to the, to the um, risk assessment. So he's, lo he's looking at those, those records now to see if we can make any correlation between bridge openings and the increases in, in turbidity. And then DOT provided a complete, I guess, the complete set of all of the, of the turbidity measurements from last year to us a, a couple of days ago. So that so that work is is ongoing. Um, and then we'll 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 have a recommendation for for the standard, the turbidity standard above which they would they, we would recommend that they shut down their their construction operations until they figure out what's causing the increased turbidity. Yes, yeah, so uh, have they have they told you how they're going to do it yet? Yeah, how like if it's a certain amount, how they're going to they're going to no, shut that, it down. That, that has that has to be put into the permit condition. Oh, okay. So the, the 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 permit application is still pending. So we're we're providing information now that we hope deep DEP will take into consideration when they prepare the draft permit. Right. Oh, okay. Anybody have any questions for Jeff? No. Okay. Make have we move. heard anything from uh, Eversource? Is that, I, I know that's an ongoing albatross, but is, has anything come up as far as 
uh, Eversource and what their plans are or, uh, you know, are they going down? I know they're going down Elizabeth Street and uh, or and then cutting across. But has any have they come forward with anything at all or what plan they're going to do? Go ahead, Jeff. Well, the answer is no. We, we invited them to attend a Harbor Commission meeting, I guess, two months ago, and they, they, uh, the Eversource person uh, declined, said they're, they're still working on their plans. And, and um, we've talked about this with the DEEP person who's got to evaluate the permit applications, and he's told us that he's several times contacted Eversource and they've just simply said that they're not ready yet to submit anything. So the, the answer to the question is no, we have, we have not heard, we've not heard anything from Eversource. But it is interesting that at the beginning of the process, if you remember, the, the DOT told us that that work by Eversource was a critical element of the bridge work and the schedule sure. was in large part due or, or determined by by Eversource having to get their their work done first. And then more recently, we were told by DOT that that's not necessarily the case uh, that there's so so we we, we, we don't know what, what Eversource. Yeah, the last time they said was that they can move ahead without Eversource that's right. and that they were moving. They were actually going to do that. But my question is, Eversource still has to get those cables across the harbor. I don't see the city allowing them to tear up the new launching ramps when they just built them. Well, that's what that's that's been our that's been our concern all along. Yes. Come on. Okay. It's been our concern all all along. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just uh, it's like a, a big black hole when it comes to them. They're not. <clears throat> They haven't been responsive to, to our, our re requests. Um, and then, you so know, the other thing I guess we know is DOT knows when they're going to need those towers removed. And they aren't bringing that up at all. So it's like, it's like they're playing games with us too. Because when those towers removed, they got to, every source has to be done already. Right. But, but, but they, they uh, not to keep talking about this, but um, the, the, it's a complicated process for Eversource to get approvals because they, they have to get approval from the Connecticut Siting Council first. And maybe, maybe that's something that, you know, is sort of a matter of fact, but there, there is a public hearing involved in, in that that, 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 uh, that we've been assured would, would take place. So they, then they've got to get the DEP permit. And there's likely to be a public hearing involved in in uh, in that permit as well. So yeah, it's it's it's, it's like you said, it's a it's a black hole is one way of describing it. We don't know. Yeah. I mean, they haven't even started getting their ducks in a row. So what are you going to call them? emergency? You know. Well. Yeah. And then also they need they need a Corps of Engineers permit. <laughs> Right. Okay. And as we've, we've talked with the Corps of Engineers before Thanksgiving and nothing, nothing's been submitted to them on uh, to the Corps of Engineers. Right. When it was indicated back in the fall of 2018 that the uh, signature was required from City Hall regarding same. So yes. this is over two years. Mm. All right, thank you. <clears throat> uh, Make a motion to accept the committee reports. Make a motion to accept the committee reports. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, uh, new business. Um, we need uh, new shellfish maps for 2021. Yeah. Um, I begin to work on them a little bit. I think there are some changes that need to be made on the back side. Um, changing our uh, creel limit to update what we did in 2020, changing to five gallons, all species and aggregate. Um, we also need to, um, uh, well, I'd also like to include some of the text in Spanish. So yes. uh, I'll, I want to translate some of the pertinent parts. Um, I think that's a, that's a 
Definite idea. Great yeah. idea. I, I think we definitely need it because a lot of Spanish people are, are that don't speak English or don't claim it. Absolutely. It's an important segment of our fishery. Right. And are we going to eventually put uh, the permits online? That was brought up. I brought it up last time I was on the committee a few years ago. Do we do we look into that? Well, the, the problem is when we do the permits, we keep a slip. They give them a slip of the permit, and we keep a copy of it. Mm -hmm. So, on so, the, so short answer is now we can do that. We, 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 but we should look into it, though, uh, Coach. Yeah. I think I think it's really critical, and I think we'd have a lot more sales. Oh, I think you would definitely have more sales. I'm, I'm just curious. Maybe I'll even look into it in nearby towns. Are they online with it? Maybe, uh, Tommy, maybe you know that. Yeah, I'm, that I'm not aware that I, uh, any other town has that, but I can look into it as well. Because that, that'd be really interesting because like, you get people that, hey, I'm coming to knock. I'm going to go claim. I need a permit. Jump on. They go claim them in one time. And that's it. And you got, yeah. you got they, they have a pass. I mean, and, and we could do we could do daily passes too. I mean, yeah. instead of do, you know, you do a daily pass, a weekend pass. We can put it on the uh, city of Norwalk websites right next to the uh, you know the dump passes, the beach passes, where they can print them just like you print the beach passes and the uh, and they'll have a date whether it's a yearly pass, a weekend pass, or a daily pass, and, and we set different uh, amounts for each one. You print them, and uh, you got to have it on you, or uh, you get to find. Period. Would, would that That's be a very city, good idea? Would that be city control, controller that run, runs that? Because right now that site is you can pull those permits as a resident and prove you're a resident, and there's no cost. My point is, would they be willing to add that because it'd be a plus for us? So I mean, it's a it, 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 it. It would be it, because it's already set up for where you can print from that site. Uh, how they the only thing is, is with everything else, that it's free. This they would have to pay. We would set up have to set up a payment uh, option on the website. And that may be a tricky part as far as the city collecting the fees. And then how do they distribute it? Tommy, well, but I, th I think go into our I, I think, yeah, but that, that they could just put an account. I think it's already there. Because I had friends out okay. of town that registered uh, their car to go to the beach and paid it online. So that that uh, that part of it might might already be but in that, place. That's through LAS. LAS controls that website. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, that's uh, LAS controls. That's an actual. The app is la run through LAS, and it's set up so that they have the license plate readers. And so what happens is if you go into the beach and you don't pay, when last comes around with the LPRs, it'll ping on your plate that you haven't paid, and then they give you a $150 ticket. So that's all set up through last. Can they cut it out? Possibly. But that's something that we'd have to look into. So the state of Connecticut did uh, mention that they were trying to go online for all of the shoreline communities, but there hasn't been any recent communication and definitely not for 2021. So I, I really think that we should do this on our own. And Tom's point is great in terms of having multiple classes online. And one right. class, one class I'd really like to add would be um, uh, there's, there's a short term, say weekend, two day non-resident. I think there are a lot of people out there that don't want to spend the 40 bucks, but might spend 10 or 15 or 20 for a Saturday or Sunday when they're only here for a weekend on someone's boat. Yeah. I think we could really capitalize on that. The other thing though, is I think we'd have to make, have an account to where, even if it goes through, through the city of Norwalk, that goes into our, our account. Cause that's for us that goes to, Tommy, who would that be in City Hall, Tom? Uh, oh IT, uh, you, you first start with IT to set it up. Uh, there's difficulty with the uh, <laughs> providers, with the, with the visa, with, the, with the, uh, the credit cards. We try to implement a similar system for some of our health department fees and uh, we're still, uh, we're, we're having difficulty. 
I know it's possible as the Five Mile River Commission is now using DACWA for transient mooring um, bookings and it is run through the city in some manner. I'm not, I'm not privy as to how they did it. Well, the harbor management does their, their moorings through, uh, I don't know, what, what do they go through? Jeff? Uh, it, it's not a city service though. It's, it's a, a vendor that the commission retained it's called online mooring systems, and, and yeah, but you go on, you go on city, city of Norwalk though to get the yeah, the, the 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 link is on the city website, but the system is maintained by a by a private company. That's and what then, we may have to do. So, like, let's say if 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 let's say it permits ten dollars, and they charge us two dollars for every time they do that. You're yeah. making twelve dollars. You're making twelve bucks. It's not our loss. Right. Well, that's what it is. We'll make it so we don't lose. But. And we're doing that now with uh, Fisherman's World, where they're getting two dollars per uh, per t uh, permit they sell already. So that's uh, incorporated into the fee as it is. Right. right. Well, so it's good I for Fisherman's can... World yeah, too just... because when they go in there, if if there's any extra business, they're getting it. Correct. We'll just have to find someone and we'll have to investigate into that and see. Plus we're gonna to have to go make up what we have too. Two day, two day weekend pass. I, I gotta tell you from working the beach almost every weekend and Mike Silva will tell you, there are a ton <laughs> of out of towners that come in and to be able to sell them a weekend pass to go clamming right there uh, especially for the New Yorkers and New Jersey people. Uh, yeah. This year was kind of a difficult because there was no grilling allowed. But if you you combine the package, and I almost, I, you know, I don't want to sound like uh, Disney World, but you combine the package, you uh, you park and you can go get for an extra $10, you can go clamming uh, right off of uh, uh, you know, uh, the beach there, uh, right. uh, you mine. know, it, 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 yeah, Absolute it would be mine. for an extra $10. You and your kids can go clamming and then grill your clams right on the, on the beach, especially at shady beach. Yeah. And we That's have an absolute gold mine. Tommy's Tommy's spot on. It's an yeah. absolute gold mine. So, Quit trying to make brownie points. I've only got a year and a half left. I don't have any brownie points to make, bro. Hey, but hey, we got uh, Tom Closter longer. Maybe we'll get you, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> we, got, we got Joe Matafari longer too. <laughs> I understand. So, uh, back back to the maps for a second. So. Um, Says wanted... the guy who's in a, a mental institution right now, as far as I can tell. No, this is my living room. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, with, uh, aquaculture, just to make sure that uh, this map is the current one. I mean, the one I have here is 2016. I'll just grab this out of my pile of stuff. I'll check the one that I got from 2020, just to make sure that that's the right one. I don't remember the last time we got them. Um, so I'll just make sure that they have no map changes for us in the offing. And then question for you, Mike. Um, it has a flag status at Marine Police Dock, Veterans uh, Park Boat Launch, Calf Pasture Gatehouse, and Calf Pasture Pier. But on the back, it only says um, Police Dock, Vets Park, and Calf Pasture Beach. It doesn't specify the locations. I mean, where, where would you like the locations for 2021? G give me that one more time. Yeah. I, uh, you were a little broken up. Sure. So on the front of the document, it says Marine Police Dock, Veterans Park Boat Launch, Calf Pasture Gatehouse, and Calf Pasture Pier. On the back for Calf Pasture, it only says that. It doesn't specify gatehouse or pier. So basically, just wanted to know where you would like to have flags for this year and how you'll manage that. Well, the, the first gatehouse at the beach is gone now. So they've moved the gatehouse from the main gate to the inner parking lot. Um, and by time, I don't know if that's very visible where it is now, Mike, what do you think? No, it isn't. Uh, no, it really isn't. It's not. 
Um, we got it at the pier, the flagpole at the pier. I mean, we. Uh, I'm going to just put one at Shady Beach. We should at the entrance to Shady, because that's where you're going water, into. At the breakwater at Shady, from Cap Pasture side to Shady side, that breakwater, from there over, going north, that's all clam open to clamming. Correct. It is now, yeah. Yeah, correct. I mean, I think you, you you definitely have to keep the one in front of the uh, marine base, just because it's the marine base. But um, I like what Pete said that um, we could use another one at Shady. Uh, keep the one at Calf. Nobody really. I, I have yet in all my time checking vets park uh we we've got the flags at vets park but nobody clams there so, i think that's um, mostly for the boaters going out okay all right yeah, then the I'll, I'll, going out, we'll look good, then I'll, I'll give you that but um i'm leaning more towards pete that um a lot of people don't know that the uh that bed right on the uh, break wall that wasn't open for a lot of years, which is open now. Um, we could kind of use some kind of, uh, you know, flag there. So I'm, I'm leaning more towards Pete that something down near the break wall in shady. Now that that bed is open, but is, that is, might there, be better. Is, is there a flagpole down there though, Mike? Oh, there no, no, there's nothing. No. There's nothing. Yeah. So, I mean, basically what we would want then is uh, maybe not a flag, but uh, a demarcation sign, one of the white red ones down toward uh, where the old Knights and Jewish Center used to be over there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah then you have to have open and close some way to do it. No, I'm just saying a demarcation sign. I mean, I don't know if we don't have a flagpole, there's no way to have an open and closed flag. Right. Yeah. Is there a way to have a sign that uh, flips open and closed? Yeah, I looked at them. They're really expensive. Unless we had, really? unless we had, yeah, unless we had someone make one. Oh. Okay. Um. That's a great hmm. idea. Maybe we can look at it again, Mike. Yeah, we'll sit down, try to figure something out. But um. Okay, but as, but as of now, then, the flags would be um, the pier, the police dock, and Vets Park? Yes. Yeah, that's what they are right now. Yes. Okay, and how are you on flags anyway, Mike? Are you okay? We're good. We're good. Okay, thanks. Yep. They're all in good shape for now. Okay. So, um, and obviously, you know, because I call you when yeah. they get... Yeah, those, those yeah. flags are a good deal for us. I mean, they're literally only a few dollars. Yeah, but I mean, we really, um, they're still all good. I'll let you know. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, they're good. Okay, anything? Uh, should we take a, we make a motion to change the uh, writing on the, the charge, or we don't need to. You don't need one, huh? Tell me, I'll need. To. But I'll I'll circulate it. I'll I'll put together the text and I'll circulate it so everyone can take a look. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else? No, since it's not, let's. Uh, our next meeting will be February. January seventh. Seven. No Christmas party this year, guys. Maybe we'll have a summer one. Mm. We'll have Christmas in it in May. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'll make a motion to uh, say la vie. Second it. Second. Second. Favor. Aye. Okay. Aye. Happy yeah. holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. And bye. Bye, Joe. Bye, Nick. Take care. Bye. Merry Christmas, guys.
Bye, guys. Bye, Joey. Bye, Peter. I'm going to call you later, Peter. I'm going to talk to you. Bye, Michael. Tommy. Joe, Michael's congratulations. Later. Thank you. Grandpa. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys later. All right.